I spent two years at Cotton Village College. Now, uh, CVC, I didn't feel as though I needed to know anything about assessment because assessment's rather simple, isn't it, at some points? You just get a piece of paper and a stapler, staple it together, give it to the kids, it's done. That, that's what assessment means, or meant to me, for two years. And then I switched schools, moved to inner city London, and then when my students weren't understanding what I was telling them, and I felt a bit professionally empty. I was like, there's something missing. And it turned out for me, it was knowing what my students knew. And then I remembered about my Cambridge PGCE and how it was possible to go from the PGCE to a master's level course. So I typed in Cambridge Master's PGCE. But what we really grasped, uh, took hold of me was that assessment room. And the reason why it was so attractive was it was at postgraduate certificate level, which meant that I didn't have to do a huge project, which would take up uh, most of my summer. Um, it was a blended course, so I'd still get to visit the city, and uh, still get to meet people face to face, and that was an important part, and it is an important part of the course. I mean, there are pains to say it's a very, very important part. I think one of my best experiences have come from the day schools. After the day schools, you've got lots of online learning with uh, discussion forums, and it's bite-sized chunks every single week. And I like that it was a bite-sized chunk, and it took me through. It held my hand all the way through. You know when someone uses the word literally wrong, and it really gets to you, like nails on a chalkboard sort of thing? Uh, that's what I got when I started to find out a little bit more about validity. I could uh, listen to some newspaper, uh, listen to some news, uh, read newspapers, listen to my colleagues, my not colleagues, um, my brother, my parents, and when they talk about validity, valid assessments, it just got to me, and I got, and then I, and then I knew why it got to me. And I was able to change the way they spoke about it. I think the biggest impact for me has been that very small thing about changing how people speak about validity. So if you can talk about it correctly, then you can think about it correctly. If you can think about it correctly, good decisions get made. Good decisions get made, and our student outcomes get better. And ultimately, that's what we want. You can't call a test valid. What you can say is that your inference that you're making from the test is valid for a particular purpose. For example, if I had um, a test and it was primarily designed to test student learning, but then I used it to um, assess uh, how the institution was doing, I would say that actually that's an invalid uh, inference or use of that test. Having formed a relationship with the Cambridge uh, Assessment Network during my PGCA, I uh, thought it would be mutually beneficial to spend a week together and learn from things from each other. For example, looking at my perspective as a teacher um, for four years and looking at how, looking how their organisation works and um, going and talking to people with CI, at CIE and Cambridge English and OCR and all the backhouse staff as well, to see just how massive the operation actually is. The one book that I would get for teachers, because it's just brilliant, it's fantastically written, it really goes into the myths about uh, testing and uh, assessment, is Godin Stobart's Testing Times, The Use and Abuse of Assessment. 